deals with a controversial subject. The theories expressed are not the only possible interpretation. Viewers are invited to make a judgment based on all available information. Hello my friends. We are Mox and Folder, and we have a nice topic for you. Bosnian Pyramids. What about their story? This was a megalithic site. It is megalith after megalith after megalith. Tens of them, maybe hundreds of them over 30,000 years old. Now remember I mentioned that below this megalith there is underground water flow and the width of the water is here from the left edge to the right edge. So it means that somebody built underground healing facility. When we are on the surface of the planet there are a lot of cosmic radiations. Some of them are bad for us. And our body cells fight those cosmic radiations. Inside the tunnels, 25 meters below the surface, no cosmic radiations. No enemies for our body cells. Pyramids are regarded as sacred burial places where great rulers were late and prepared for their final sleep. There's no applicability involved when speaking about these magnificent monuments which are scattered throughout the entire world, except for the numerous symbols pointing with accuracy towards various cosmic regions and events. While some historians and experts were confident with the above mentioned idea, others decided to follow a challenging road that would eventually unveil the true meaning of the pyramids, if there was one indeed. We're going to focus our attention on Dr. Samir Osmanagic, a Bosnian researcher who had studied these complex heritages left by our forefathers for more than 25 years. If his name doesn't ring a bell to you, you might know him as the discoverer of the Bosnian pyramids, an ancient East European site dating back thousands of years. Since the spring of 2005 when these grandiose structures had been found, Dr. Osmanagic has made several other mind-boggling discoveries that seem to contradict the established paradigm on various levels. Excavations had begun back in 2006, and after more than 10 years of digging, the site has become the most archaeologically active in the world. This non-profit project gathers hundreds of volunteers and numerous experts from various fields each year because the exploration of these ancient vestiges offer history-shattering insights. Let's highlight a few of them. The pyramids from the small town of Vizico, Bosnia, are the first such monuments unearthed in Europe. It stands as no surprise, but rather as an addition to a chapter of history so far unknown to us, in a part of the world known to have been ruled by a mysterious Vinca civilization with a cuneiform writing system predating that of the Sumerians. These pyramids are the biggest, the largest on the planet, according to Dr. Osmanagic. The Pyramid of the Sun, which is the largest of the three, stretches for about 360 meters on its eastern side, and 220 meters on the northern side where it meets the hills. It's well known that pyramids across the world were not just randomly put in place, but a series of key factors were taken into account before they had been erected. The Bosnian complex of pyramids makes no exception, as their orientation towards the cardinal points is extremely precise, with all four corners pointing in all four cardinal directions. Below the dense layer of soil and vegetation, Researchers have come across solid blocks of concrete which constitute the body of the pyramids. Recent laser scans have revealed that these structures were steppe pyramids in remote times, before they had been covered by vegetation. Researchers have gathered organic samples from beneath the concrete sections in order to determine the age of the monuments. The results showed a staggering age of no less than 34,000 years. That's more than some people's imagination can stretch, and it makes the Bosnian pyramids the oldest in the world. Excavations have led the team of archaeologists to a network of prehistoric tunnels spanning for tens of kilometers underneath the area of Vizico, forming a veritable ancient underground labyrinth waiting to be explored. Inside the tunnels, archaeologists have discovered unusual artificial monoliths made of ceramic that were placed on pedestals, thus proving that our forefathers were capable craftsmen with an ingenuity surpassing our modern logic and understanding.
With all these breakthrough discoveries at hand, Dr. Osmanagic and his team are now trying to fit the pieces of the puzzle to eventually elucidate the true role of the pyramids. Much progress has been made since the initial discovery in 2005, and while all the aforementioned details deserve a more thorough description, I'll first focus on what seems, at least to me, the greatest find at the site so far. While scanning the perimeter of the monuments for anomalies, researchers have detected some unusual waves described by Nikola Tesla himself. They are called scalar waves, or standing waves, and are believed to travel at a velocity billions of time, though this aspect is arguable, faster than the speed of light. These waves are not affected by cosmic radiation or any other cosmic mass. Because of this, the idea of a cosmic internet has been coined, and it refers to an intergalactic network which makes it possible to communicate between extremely distant places across the galaxy in just an instant, similar to how the internet works on our planet, but on a grander level. For many other researchers, among which the most prominent is Nikola Tesla, scalar waves, or standing waves, created in torsion field interaction are traveling at faster speeds than the light. It's estimated to be 10 billion times faster speed than the lights. Thereby, the torsion fields can move through any cosmic body, planet, sun, without wasting energy. This means they are able to travel at great velocity, transfer information and energy, and that there's no loss of the quantity of information. Ideally is to have at the both ends two producers, generators, of the energy which are mutually communicating through Tesla's torsion field, waves. The information transfer is almost instant between two distant parts of the cosmos, and the information doesn't lose on its quality during the transfer. And from here on out, the mystery deepens even further. When Goran Marianovic, a Bosnian electrical engineer reached the site in Vizico, he didn't know what to expect. Loaded with equipment, he started doing measurements across the entire area to see if he could detect some form of energy. He was taken aback when his device picked up a faint signal coming from a scalar waves, also known in the UFO slash conspiracy doctrine as zero-point energy, right atop the pyramid of the sun. The idea revolving around these waves refers to them as a means of communication between distant places in the galaxy. Scalar waves are propagated from the center of the galaxy, and that hard-coded information is picked up by our DNA that's acting like a cosmic antenna or receiver. Since this technology is based on scalar waves, which are faster beyond our wildest dreams, the transmitted information is reaching from one corner of the galaxy to the other in a blink of an eye, similar to how the internet operates, but on a planetary scale. But of what use this ultra-advanced technology would have been to our ancestors if they had no tools to communicate you might ask? And here's where we hit a brick wall. The gap between the attested history of modern humans and the alternative, intuitive history stretches across tens of thousands of years. It's challenging to tackle with this enormous time gap that bridges two forms of advanced societies separated by millennia of existence. Although our culture only attests the modern society on this end of the line, the evidence provided by Dr. Sam Osmanagic and numerous other prominent researchers reveal a different reality where ancient and advanced peoples thrived on this earth in antiquity. This was our topic for you today, and if you like it, do not forget to subscribe, like, and share, more is coming. Peace and love to all.